Hey guys, Shane here. So today I'm just going to go over some um, cryptocurrency news and what happened with my PCI splitter, whether it worked or not. And that'll be it. So let's hop right in and I'll show you the rig and what went wrong and what went right. All right, guys, see you in a bit. All right, so I got the Express card in. Problem is I've tried it and here it is. Here's what it looks like. Pretty basic. Anyways, I tried it in this slot where this card is. I've tried it in this slot and this slot and still I could not get it to work. So my next bet, next option is the little M dash M.2 slot. So if that doesn't work, then I guess this is just going to be a five card rig. I did have this, the 580, up here where this is at, but for some reason the 580 was running hotter up here, which really didn't make any sense to me. But since I switched it back down there, it's been running pretty, pretty cool. I, I, only reason I noticed it was running hotter, I could hear the fan, you know, kicking on and off. So, anyways, this is what she looks like. Pretty much no difference than yesterday. Um, also, this new power supply has a bad slot in the back. So, even if I did get that slot to work, the um, this to work, uh, I'm still got to figure out how I'm going to get the. Um, power to it the power to the card up here because as it sits now this is the 560 that's not running as you can see the cord just dangling so I'm down a card right now um, I may just end up cutting my losses and putting this 560 here on my next my next rig make it an AMD rig going forward so we'll see but anyways, um, I think it's going to be GPU number three is the 580 and it's sitting at 66 degrees and the fan's not going nuts. So it's been running better. Before it would almost hit 70 degrees and the fan would be at like 70, 80%. So didn't really want that going, the fan kicking on and off, you know, higher RPMs on and off like that all day long. So anyways. We will hop in and check out the numbers and go from there. See you in a bit, guys. Okay, so if you guys have any ideas of uh, other things that I could be looking for as far as how to get that six card on there working, besides that M.2 slot, um, I'm all ears. Let me know down in the remarks below, all right, guys? So let's head over and look at the... Um, well, let's check out the rigs, what they did the last 24 hours. Sitting at 929 this week from NiceHash. Um, $4.64 from um, Ethereum, which you can see right here. Um, sitting at $39.40 so far this week. Um, about $8 so far over last week. As far as the uh, total value mined, uh, markets are still pretty much garbage. Bitcoin sitting at roughly $7,400. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I'm kind of getting tired of this trade in sideways, and I'm hoping something pans out here pretty soon. So Tron news, Tron and Cardano, massive week ahead. The sky's the limit. Um, Tron and Cardano, both Tron and Cardano are having massive weeks this week as updates to both crypto projects are being released to the public. Tron is just a day away from launching its mainnet and Cardano has just released version 4.2. The market is mostly in the green today following an announcement that the South Korean government has proposed to lift its ban on initial coin offerings, which I'm hoping that's good news. I'm kind of, like I said earlier, I'm, I'm grabbing at straws here. I'm, I'm hoping something eventually pans out. 
So just skipping forward, Tron for the year is up 43%, um, which is pretty good. For the month, though, it's down 25%. And Cardano, unfortunately, is down 72% for the year. So that's got a lot of potential for upside on that. Here's that um, article on the Korean government. Government committee plans to make ICOs legal again. South Korea's plan to pursue the road to re-legalizing initial coin offerings. Local news media reported May 29th, citing government officials. According to Business Korea, a National Assembly Committee dedicated to the study of so-called Fourth Industrial Revolution, so it would seek to enhance the legal basis of cryptocurrency in the country, part of which would be reversing the ICO ban, which the government enacted in September. We need to form a task force, including private experts, in order to move improve transparency, transparency of cryptocurrency trading and establish a healthy trade order. The publication quotes the committee as saying during the meeting of May 28th. We will also establish a legal basis for cryptocurrency trading, including permission of ICOs through the National Assembly Standing Committee. So I'm hoping that's good news uh, for the markets in general, this article, and then I'm hoping this is good news for my holdings, which as you can see, just from mine, I've got 1,771 Tron, 57 Cardano. I got a lot more Cardano though that I bought myself previously on the um, on the exchange. So I think I'm sitting at about 9,600, 9,500 total Tron coins. So not quite at 10,000, but you know right now is Tron sitting at six six cents. You know, I can just go ahead and pick up some more for maybe 30, 40 bucks and I'll have 10,000 Tron, which would be good. So, I don't know. I'm hoping everything goes back up and everything's peaches, as they would say, coming uh, uh, towards the end of this year. At least that's that's my hope. I guess that's it for today, guys. Um, you guys have any questions or comments or suggestions on the rig and how I can get that um, six card to work? I'd appreciate it. Um, like I said, I've thought about that M.2 slot, but then I would need to power a riser. And right now, I don't have another BGA slot available because the one is bad. So I, I guess I could power it with the SATA. I don't know. I'd have to look into that. Anyways, guys, if you guys have any suggestions, just put it down below. I'd appreciate it. Uh, be sure to subscribe. Hit the notification icon. I'd appreciate it. If you guys like the video, hit the like button. Um, reminder as well, we have Bitcoin Friday entry video coming in tomorrow where somebody will win another $20. All right? So be on the lookout for that. And with that, guys, I appreciate you guys for watching, and I will see you all tomorrow. Take care. Bye.